Okay, welcome in, all you trader nerds. Don't forget, we have a Muscadine Mafia session coming up on how to trade a brand new $25,000 account immediately following this. Y'all join our Discord group, get in there, become Muscadine Mafia members, and uh, you'll get all kind of extra content as well. So, uh, and usually we have after school. After school is on hold while we finish our 20-part series of building a new account. Don't forget, Thursday, 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 the man, Tom Shoshnoff will be talking to us about risky business, the power of taking risk in business and life. That's going to be March the 2nd. There's a special Zoom link. If you have this uh, video, go to this little QR code. Hold your little phone up. Go to this QR code to get the uh, the little link for that. That's going to be at 1 p.m. Central Time. I quoted it Central because I'm advertising this for my Alabama class. So hopefully they'll be there March 2nd, and you all are invited. Let's talk to Tom about taking risks. The man has created $2 billion enterprises. I mean, he knows a little thing about taking risk. And, of course, one day he's going to open a toast shop, which will be uh, kind of interesting to see how that does. I mean, every now and then you want some good dry toast, you know, a little butter on there, a little peanut butter, a little jelly. My mama got some toast while we were on the cruise ship, and she made her peanut butter and jelly toast sandwich. I thought that was good. Look at this, y'all. The market is doing nothing today. What a great day to sell an iron condor in SPX. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go in. I'm going to no, I'm not. Uh, 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 uh. No, you're not, Bobby, because that is a stupid trade, not permitted under your plan. And if you don't have a written plan, every trade that you take is stupid. Don't take stupid trades. All right. Let's see how our little tasty account's doing today. Hello, account. Let me pull over side where I can do the net lick. Bobby, you blind bastard, you. You don't show your net lick. Yes, I do. I just don't want to show the account number because I get in trouble. Of course, if you search through the archives, everybody knows every account number. So we are at 38398. 38398. 38398. Y'all have me money back. 38398. What the crowd? Privacy mode. 38398. What was it? 38. What was it? 38. 31. 38391. 38391. Get ready, Raphael. 38391. Unbelievable. 391. Cue up the band, Roger. Yeah, we're moving on now. Yeah, we're moving on now. To the east side. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. Look at us, y'all. We are now up 1.89% on the year. How are we doing in comparison to the S&P 500? Well, let's see. We're up 1.89. The S&P is up. Da 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 3.47%. Okay. So, let's see. We started this month at 38.288, and now we are at 38.391. Let's go ahead and put that in. 38.391. 38.391. So, for this month, we made a profit of $102.34. How does daddy do it? Continually. That's how I do it. All right, so that's done. Uh, now, on your spreadsheet, look this, you'll notice that the spy thing is a link. You click on there, and so like tomorrow, I'll go in. What is, remember my choice for the, anyway, it's a link to the monthly returns of the S&P 500. So tomorrow, this will update. January was up 6.18%, and then it'll have a February version, and then you just put it in so you can keep up with your, uh, you know, how the uh, market's doing. Isn't that cool? Huh? 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 All right, so let's get out of this. Ta-da! We are killing it. All right, let's see the IRA. Oh, well, first of all, I didn't do my dang metrics. God, Bobby, what is wrong with you? Let's see, sweet Bobby, tasty work spreadsheet. Here we go. Let's go back to it. I forget how this works. I've been on vacation mode for way too long. Oh, and by the way, I'm having anger and rage issues because I'm out of testosterone. I've been out of testosterone for like two weeks, and I can't get anybody to get my thing done, and it's it's just causing me all kinds of problems. So I have a little bit of rage incidents right now. So if I go extremely ballistic, 
y'all know I've got mental health issues and combine them with the issues of hormones, uh, I'm, I'm just a wreck, a wreck. So our deltas are 29, 27, 29, 27. Let's see how that looks. 29 and 20, 29 and 27. Is this right? Tasty works. 29. What happened? Did we close something? 29 and 27. And our buying pair is all the way down to 93, 48. Come here often. 93, 48. 9348. And indeed, the VIX is at 20. So let's see how we're looking. 24%, 29. <gasps> but we need a little dash of salt on top of the tater salad. So to get that, we got to put in another trade because we ain't got enough juice in the tank. So let's go sell us something. And we're going to go now the new plan. The new plan says I got to go at least 60 days. And I don't think that's right. I think that I think that should be 60. I think it's 59 today. Yes, 59. So my new plan says, hey, Bob, you want at least 60 days on this, okay? And the, I don't know why this isn't updating. So I want to do at least 60 days. Why? I don't know. If you want to do 59 days, do it. But I wrote in my plan, I want to do at least 60. Now, the reason is this. The plan is to hold the naked put 60 days. That's what I'm going to really try to do. Hold it 60 days. So if I do that, I can close it and I'll still have, you know, 20, 23 days on the um, on the old put debit spread. So let's do that. So let's go to long put vertical. What the crap is this? Is that showing where my position is? That's not the way that normally looks. All right. So let's go uh, 50 wide. Let's skank it down until we get it down to $10. Ten dollar, nine seventy five, thirty seven twenty five, thirty seven fifty five. We know we won't get filled there, so we're gonna bump it up to a dollar and or ten dollars and fill, baby. Now this is different. Now I'm going to do a one one two. So a one one two means I'm going to collect ten dollars. But I am a greedy, ruthless capitalist pig. So I'm going to go down here to the six delta. And I'm going to sell two of the 3300s because I'm going to get me some extra money pizza. And I'm going to do two of these. One, one, two. How long has it been since we put on a one, one, two? Ta-da! Nothing. Jack, squat, crap. Come on, baby. Feel me. Be careful who you say that to, especially if they got a restraining order against you. Don't tell anybody to feel you. I was watching Darcy and Stacy on... Uh, what is it, Lifetime or AMC last night? Have y'all seen them tell gals? They got so much plastic in them, it's pitiful. I mean, they look like they had bullfrog lips on them. I'm like, uh, how much, what's that Botox you can get in your lips? I mean, what in the world? So now let's see what our little deltas and everything is. So now we're at 33 and a nice 35. We took it from 27 to 35, and that looks really much better, doesn't it? Isn't it great? <sighs> Doesn't it feel good to be back, back, y'all, doing what we normally did, back making money every day, back, you know, just just printing. So let's go to our other camp. Let's go to over here, and we'll do crimson first. Crimson, crimson, crimson. Crimson is the color of blood, baby, and the color of the Alabama crimson tide. So 33, 16. Uh-oh, 33, 620. I'll take the 33, 620. No, we'll do 33, 616. 33, 616. 33, 616. Oh, it feels good to be printing money again. Well, we're moving on up, on up to the east side. On up to the deluxe apartment in the sky. Don't look now, but we're up 6.33% when the market is up 3.54%. Okay, so... I have contributed a little bit of money this time. So we've got to remember that. And that's already been accounted for in January. So I put three in here this month. So let's go over here, fix this at 33,616. 33,616 is what we ended with. 33,616. Maybe better than that time the day is over. That says we're up 12.67%. We know that's not right. And the reason is because we 
moved over $3,000 there. So we are up 2.37% for the month. That is beautiful. Now, how are we doing as far as our yearly concern? So our premium capture, ladies and gentlemen, is 44%. Let's blow that up. You don't see it. 44% of every dollar we sell in premium, we keep. That's the way we roll. Our projected profit on this little $30,000 account is $18,314. Our projected yearly return at that capture rate is 54%. Our projected weekly profit is $352. We have sold $5,333 uh, in premium. We have profits that we've actually booked of 2300 we are staying in a trade 29 days we get a credit of 65 dollars every time we go um okay our win rate is 62 percent now you're sitting there saying bobby that's low man you said this thing won 98 percent of the time it does if you consider the 111 as a single trade we do not we consider them as separate trades so you're going to lose on about 50 percent of your trades isn't that cool so our trade expectancy every time we hit the button roger we are expecting 64 dollars our average profit on our nakeds is 66 percent and our average profit on those nasty gnarly debit spreads is negative 97 percent how does daddy do it so low testosterone equals raise. That explains all the women in my life. Exactly, Drew, exactly. So maybe, uh, you know, find one that's, you know, got some unusual body hair or something, you know, that has high testosterone. Maybe you won't have as much raise. Uh, Bobby, that is your future MES you sold. What do you mean, Trey? What, what did I miss? Did I do something? Did I do something wrong? I did sell a future in something. I don't know where I did. No, you were asking what that little round circle and the white. Oh, thing was. oh, oh, thank you, Trey. Oh, it's so good to hear Trey's voice. Trey, if I could get a hold of you, I would hug you. Trey, you're coming to Atlanta, aren't you? Yes, sir. Ain't dog going around. We're going to have a good time. I'm going to wear my shorty shorts. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I may be wearing my boxer shorts when we're all trading, just like I could be right now. All right. Awesome. Don't scare your children away, Bobby. Well, you know, I got nice legs. Oh, I got stuff. I can feel stuff that I hadn't felt before. So look, I think I'm one of these that have those, you know, varicose veins or something. And I felt something in my leg. That I said, what the devil is that? It feels like a rope in my leg. And it's like a vein or something. I'm like, where'd that thing come from? Oh, listen, y'all. Guess how much weight I lost in the last week. On the cruise, eating the buffet. I lost 4.6 pounds. I weighed today at the thing. And they were like, wow, you did that on a cruise. Yeah. And I know what y'all are thinking. Y'all are thinking I'm trying to sell y'all something. Like a supplement or something like that. I promise I'm not. I, people say, how do you do it? You got to be taking something special, right? I swear I'm not. I am recording every bite that I eat. So I had two double hamburgers from McDonald's today. And I told them, extra ketchup. And you know what they did? They did it without ketchup. And I was like, crap, what a dry burger. And then I started eating my double hamburgers. And I was like, oh, my gosh. It tasted like a crystal burger for some of y'all, a white castle, because it didn't have ketchup. And I go, this is good. I may start ordering them that way. Isn't that amazing? How you figure out? And I save calories by not having ketchup on it. Anyway, I'm not trying to sell y'all anything. I promise I'm not taking supplements or anything special, wonky, wonky, you know, uh, like some people try to sell you stuff to lose. Well, I'm not doing that. I'm just recording my thing on a free app called My Net Diary. All right, I'm getting distracted though. So let's see what our Greeks and ratios are over here. Do y'all see how much happier I am when we're back to our old plan? The old plan is working so much better. All right, so we are at, say, 66 deltas and 45 theta. 66, 45, 66, 45. 66 and 45. Now, remember, I'm holding two short futures. Let's see how we're looking. We're still 16, a little long. So our delt, look at our theta, y'all. Oh, yeah, this is so good. We're back where we need to be. 20, and let's see where we are in buying power. Buying power. Don't count your T-bill stuff. Oh, it's T-bill Tuesday. So our buying power is roughly 12, we'll say 12, 850 or so, 12, 850. 
you know, you just want it roughly. 12,850. Okay, so we're at 38% buying power, 66. Now, here's what I'm making all the mentor reads go through right now. Okay, you're a quarterback. You get back, you're in the pocket. The pocket's collapsing. You look at your primary receiver. He's covered. Poof. You check down to the second receiver. Boom. He's covered. You check down to the third receiver. Boom. He's covered. Check down the third, fourth. You keep going through your check down. So your check down is this. I have sufficient theta. My deltas are a little too high. And my buying power is a little too much. What is the question? The question is, am I comfortable with this level of risk? Am I comfortable with this level of risk? If the answer is yes, do nothing. If the answer is no, go through your check down. What can I do to get deltas under control? Number one, I could sell a future. If I sell a micro future, that gives me negative 50 deltas. Everybody with me? It has no effect on my theta. It will reduce my buying power. So you got to know if this, then that, and what will that do? That's one option. Second option is I could buy a put debit spread or I could actually buy puts. If I bought a put, what would that do? If I bought a put, it would give me negative deltas. It would reduce my theta and it would also reduce my buying power. I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to do that. What else could I do? I could close a profitable position or I could close a losing position. Let us, for the sake of argument, assume that we're going to close a naked put. If we closed a naked put, regardless if it was profitable or not profitable, what would that do? It would reduce our deltas, it would reduce our theta, and it would reduce our buying power. You've got to know the options. Futures, buying options, or closing Profitable or closing losing positions. That's my four options that I could do. I also have written into my plan that if I wanted to, I could close the short position of the put debit spread. So I got five options. Five options. So question, little old Bobby, are you comfortable with the risk? Well, apparently I was yesterday, wasn't I? Right. So I've got 0.13 theta. My goal is to keep 0.1 theta at all times. What could I do? So you go over here and you go, well, you know, you know, I could maybe take off the trade if I wanted to. Now, the new spreadsheet, which is awesome, by the way, designed by yours truly, says that I have 26 naked puts and I have 26 put debit spreads. You know, if I wanted to, I could probably close some. Take me some profits. Take the family out to Applebee's, right? Uh-oh, but I've got all these loans closing today. The new spreadsheets identifies that. Isn't that cool? How it says, man, you got a lot of loans coming off. Now, knowing that tomorrow, oh, tomorrow may look much different. But I don't worry about tomorrow. I worry about today. So knowing that I've got a lot of loans coming off tomorrow, a lot of these put debit spreads, you know, little old Bobby says I may just try to prune a tree. So let's go see. The forest looks pretty good, but let's see if we want to prune a tree. So we go over here, we show our groups, and we go digga digga digga. Let's look at our, let's look at our naked puts, unallocated. Oh, that's coming off today. All right, naked puts. Hmm, I got something at 39%. Bubby, you're supposed to hold those to 50%. Hey, I ain't guess to do nothing. So I could take this off. Now, that would take me, I would lose five thetas. Let's see what that looks like. I don't want to go down too far in theta. If I went down five in theta, that'd bring that down to 40. Would that still be above 0.1? Well, of course it would. So I'm going to take me some profits and take the family to Applebee's. Ed went to a restaurant the other day, or he was telling me about a restaurant, and I said, is it better than Applebee's? He said, yes, it is. And I said, Ed, I said, that must be a great place because ain't no better place than Applebee's. And y'all think we ain't going to Applebee's when y'all come to Atlanta, huh? You think we ain't going to load up in the car? No, we can't ride in my car because it's filled with chicken nuggets and um, uh, French fry containers. 
Plus, I got stuff in there from when I retired from my office that I still haven't got out of the car from 2021. All right, so we got out of that at, come on, baby, get me. There we go. We got out of our 3570s at $18. 3570. Hello, ladies, come here often. 3570s at $18. Let's see if we can find that. 3570. Now, this is where y'all get upset and y'all say, Bobby, if you'll do the control function, you can find it. There's a 3570. Where's my other 3570? Here we are. Hello, ladies. So $35.70. What did I say we got out of that? $18? Closing price was $18. So we got out of that for $182. We took us a little profit of $228.23. We took us a little profit down the road of $109.12, Beth. Ask, how do I provide for the family? It is this way. This is what we do. All right. Daddy has done his job. All right. Now, let's say our realized returns, what we've done here. So you and I have made profits of $2,491.94. Daddy, daddy, yes, papa. Eating sugar, no, papa. All right. So what are we doing now? Let's go to the third account. The third account, baby. The third. Now, since we're trading four accounts, I got to figure out which one it is. Okay, it's so this one. Got so many accounts, I don't know what to do. So let's go over here and let's see what our net lick and our lower Greeks are over here in the O I R A. Mm -hmm. I R A. Let's see. We are at 86772. 86772. Oh, y'all. Fire up the band, right? 88772, fire up the band, Roger. Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on now. To East Ohio. To the East Ohio. To the East Ohio. To the East Ohio. To the East Ohio. 86772. So let's go over to our really last returns. 86772. So we uh, transferred 23,000 out. And over to the Roth IRA. So now we made $842.50, a 1% return. How did the market do? The market did. We're up 263 on the year, and the market is up 3.62%. Uh, okay. And y'all, we've been conservative in this. And now that we're back to our old plan, we are printing, y'all. Printing, 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 printing. If you ain't printing money, you're doing something wrong. And you probably have done something wrong because I steered y'all into the all doing all the sweet bobby hitches. Don't worry about it. We'll get it all fixed up. So our deltas are about 100 and what? 47, 147, 49, 147, 49, 147, 49. There you go, Bob. There you go, little buddy. 147, 49. Oh, yeah. Let's get that theta up. And our that is a 20, and our buying power usage over here is 24,884. 24,884. 24,884. There we go. So we're using 28% buying power. We ain't got enough theta, but the problem is we've got a little bit too much delta. So, you know, what would I do here? It's a good question. I think what I'm going to do. I know what Rosanna the Dana Dana is going to do. Sweet Bobby is going to sell a future. So let's go to trade. Let's go here. And let's go futures. And we got 18 days. Go where the volume is, y'all. This is the active one with 17 days. We're going to click on the bid. And we are going to instantly sell a few. Bobby, why do you do that? Just hit the button. What's this? This thing feel right out. Come here, baby. Feel. I said that will feel right out, my guys. There we go, we're so. Now, what does that do? That brings my delta down by 50. So now we're at 70, 90, 99. 90, let's say 100 deltas. Did that work right? Yeah, because we should have been right at 150. Yeah, so we're at about 100 deltas now. See how that works? Didn't do anything to my theta. My theta should still be around that 49. Yeah, 49. What did it do to buying power? Gave me buying power relief. So now... I'm in a much better situation, right? My deltas are now within an acceptable range, right? My deltas should be a high of 130. 
Okay, I'm at 100. But I ain't got enough zing in my style. So now little old Bobby can sell a position. How about that? So let's go here. Let's go over here. And let's do the same trade that we did over there. And we're going to go, let's say we did the, where the eyes are going, y'all. We did the, I said we did the 37.75, 37.25. So we're going to go out to 80 days, 37.75. Y'all ain't enjoying this. I don't know what it is. And I, I worry about the people that sign up for our Discord and they quit and they go, I don't know, it's just not for me. I'm like, what the heck are y'all, what are y'all doing? How can you not have this much fun? So there's a put debit spread for a $10. Good. And then let's go sell us something for about $12. About $12. A little greedy, $3,300. And we'll try to get the mid there. And we're going to do a one one two, right? There we go. Hadn't done a one, one, two in a wow. Feel me, baby. There we go. Thirty-three hundred for twelve fifty. Thirty-three hundred for twelve fifty. Let's put it in. Thirty-three hundred for twelve fifty. Thirty-three hundred. Twelve fifty. MES. And we did a two twofer, and we'll call this naked put. I don't know, 28. It really doesn't matter what you call it. 28. I just like having names on uh, puts. This is naked. And at 80 days, 2, 28, 23. And that puppy had, yeah, 80 days on. Good. Now let's do our put debit spread. So we did MES. We did one lotter. And we did. We'll call this PDS 28, I guess. And we did the 37.75, 37, 3725 puts that spread at 80 days and two, 28 in the year of our Lord, 23. And we put that puppy on for $10. So we brought in $122 and we did out 52. All right. So again, Realize returns on the account. This is the final. And I'm not going to go in and update this at the end of the day. And it's close enough. It'll all work out in the end. But we're up 2.63% on the year. Let's look at our stats over here. Our stats over here are our capture rate. Every dollar we sell, we're capturing 43% of that. Remember, tasty metrics tell us that we should keep 25% of the premium we sell on average. We, however, are keeping 43%. We are projecting $25,000 in profits. Beth, what you going to do with the $25,000, hon? She said, I will never see any of that money, Bob. And she's exactly right. But I'll keep it in here. All right. Our projected weekly, pro weekly profit is $500. We have sold $11,391 in premium. We have kept $4,973. Y'all, average days in trade, 32. Every time we sell a, put on a trade, we're collecting on average $102. That includes the ones we buy as well, right? So the average of everything, we're, we're collecting $102. Our projected profits are uh, 29 or 31,000. And we're right on track for a 29.61% return in an IRA, which I think is great. Our win rate is north of 50%, 62%. Every trade we put on, our expectancy is $92. We're gonna, every time we hit the button, we're gonna make $92. On our nakeds, remember we were looking to get 55%, we're getting 64% in our put debit spreads. Why do the put debit spread? Because they allow us to make the magic. This allows us to get this, and this outweighs that. Questions. All right, Carlos. Hey, Bobby, are you doing 112 now? Yes. Do you know why the net 90 naked put 60 was not working as well as I thought longer data, theta decayed faster? I don't know what it was, but I'm going to tell you something. On paper, Carlos, the 9060 made sense. We went through the evaluation. Remember, we spent time going through the analysis now. It didn't work as well. Now, I think what was the major contributor was 
the adding the sweet Bobby hedge because we wanted a hedge. We were like, oh man, we're, we're, we, what if this, what if that, what if that? And we wanted a hedge. We had to put debit spread and that thing was killing us, killing us on these little grind down markets. So I just scrapped it from my plan. I am no longer doing it. So I went through an analysis and we'll go through, I will at some point go through the analysis of the 9060 compared to the 6060. But I showed it to Ed on, on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, whatever that was. And I said, Ed, the 60 is just going to be better for me. Now, can you still do the 9060? Yeah, we were doing the 9060 to make our 2.63% and our 6% in our other camp. Well, we were doing that. So did it work? I guess it did. But I just, after looking at it, I went back to the 60 and I ain't turning back. And Carlos, I compare it to this. We were, we were doing, what was I going to say? Oh, heck, I lost my training file because I was looking at Evan's note. Evan says he still has a majority of his hedges on, so it should look pretty similar to how it has in the past. Over the next few weeks, as things come off, it'll go back to the way it was prior to the hedges. Exactly. Yeah, because Paul says, hi, sweet Bobby, welcome back. Good to be back, Paul. How does your risk graph look now with the one, one, twos? Yeah, let's see. Let's see what this thing looks like. Let's see in this account. Let's go to the analyze, analyze tab. And let's see here. We want to go high simulations and portfolio but weighted. And then here's where we dog cuss Ed. That damn Ed. And then we'll go and have to take our, uh, make sure we got all listed. Here. And then, uh, just take your T-bills out. It will not show you with your T-bills out. So we've got to take those out. So let's go chunky, 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 chunky. It's that small price to pay for all that free It's money. a small price to pay, y'all, for the money that Ed is making us. Ed has turned us into T-billionaires. That's exactly what I am. I'm going to put Robin that on my Hood's business. The story. investing world, taking yeah. our own money and investing it instead of our brokerage companies. Y'all, it's the smartest thing ever. And well, like Ed says, Ed, didn't you say you don't see this? Someone said, made the comment that no one sees this anywhere else. Yeah, it, it, this is a, this was pre-2008, 2009 stuff where rates weren't squashed down to zero. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, in our treasuries, in our fixed income room, someone posted an article by Larry McMillan, which, of course, is a famous trader. And it was validating this whole T-bill investing thing has come back to life, especially for options and futures traders, where so much of our buying power is in cash. And yeah. when it's in cash, like right now, we're earning like 0.3 or something on it. It was 0.01. Why not take it and put it in and earn 4.85% on a very short-term thing? It, it, if we don't do it, they're doing it. I'm literally having a conversation with someone right now on the side. They're like, I feel like an old man doing this. I'm like, feel like a savvy robber who's lurking under the surface, scraping up dollars that our brokerage company is going to earn if we don't. I mean, it's... Uh, it's easy money and whatever you're targeting in your your account for your rate of return for the year you can get 4.8 or so from it from the t-bills for goodness sakes who doesn't want to do that y'all look at this on this account look how much ed has made me and this is this is just the ones that's open look at this 13 50 80 115 and 25 and 200 i mean 200 dollars just on these i mean come on people that's 200 dollars that I would not have had had I not met Ed. Ed, I may give you bow sugar in Atlanta <laughs> for two hundred dollars. I mean, that, and that's just in one account. I mean, Ed's Bobby. made us a lot of money, y'all. Yes. You know, you can just select all those T bills. How? Oh, if by you... hitting the thing. Is that? Oh, that may save me some time. How do I do that? Just do the. Yeah, you can. No, you can... On that page you were just on, you can just select them all on your monitor tab. Mm -hmm. Oh, on my monitor. Back to your tab. monitor tab. Okay, got it. And if you select all the T bills, mm -hmm. just oh, you have to do that. Yeah, I don't think. Well, you let's can look. I, I, well, I've got them. You in can't groups. do it, but let's see. It's... I've got them in groups too. Let's see, uh, T bills. 
There's my two bills there. Yeah, look, P and L year to date two or three, and that doesn't include the ones that have expired, right? And you know, this is just on these open ones, right? I think, right. So he's made me, you know, probably two three hundred dollars. Ed, I owe you so much. Uh, uh, you know, it's just a dividend paying back to you for choosing me for your mentorship. That's all. Now listen, y'all. Well, thank you, Ed, so much. And here's what you do. So y'all are scared Thank of the you. black, y'all are scared of the black swan, right? Okay, here's what you do. So let's say you got a hundred thousand dollar camp. Okay. We averaged the two here. We got a hundred thousand dollar camp. Okay. You made two thousand dollars here. You made a thousand dollars here. Take three thousand dollars out. Put this three thousand dollars in T bills. Put them in a one year T bill. Okay. Keep you hundred thousand dollar little capital and keep pulling this out. Y'all, it ain't going to take long before you got your $100,000 back out and you play with house money. Everybody with me? I mean, you're printing money. Print, print, print. Keep printing. Take it out. Make this safe if you want to. Hey, put it in a CD. Put it wherever you want to. You know, live on it. Pay your mortgage with it. Pay your car payment. And leave you capital here. But before long, you will pull out enough profits to where this is just, you know, all your, your gravy. I mean, at this rate, how long is it going to take? Not long. Especially now that we got this thing looked up. And look, on the analyze tab, y'all, I may have nixed the sweet Bobby Hedge too quickly. Look, because my analyze tab, look at this. And I feel like, here's the thing. I think, y'all, that we have to have positive theta. You remember when Evan was carrying the negative theta? I just didn't, I didn't like that. Get that theta back up. Get your theta up and then if you I want to head. Do what, Evan? Oh, I was asking if I could jump in here. Absolutely. So I, I think you hit the, the nail on the head. There's a happy medium and that's a, kind yeah. of what I've been saying in my room. We went from zero protection to double or triple the protection that we needed. And mm -hmm. we, we found the extremes of not enough and way too much. Yeah. So I, I think there's definitely a happy medium. Maybe it's one sweet bobby hedge per naked foot or instead of two or three, because what we kept doing is we kept putting on protection, 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 protection. Then, like you said, you carry negative theta. Your deltas are all out of whack because your buying power is suppressed, which allows you to put on too many positions. So I, I don't think that it's something you necessarily even need to completely scrap. Because like you've said, over the last few days, you've put on some more trades, you've got your theta back up and you still have downside protection. So yeah. there's a happy medium. We just have to find it. And we will, y'all. We will find it. We will find it. And look, I think I've kind of found it here. Look at this, y'all. I mean, okay, market goes down. I'm going to make $20,000. Well, if you put in the volatility, let's see what it says. Okay, I'm going to be down. 6,800, wang, on a 20% down move, that to me is a happy medium. And look, it only gets better as we keep going down. So I think, Evan, I think you're right. I think, look, here's the deal. Don't carry the negative theta. Get things back in order where we, our Greeks make sense. And then you want to pop in a sweet Bobby hedge every now and then? Do it, baby. Or when you're selling all these naked puts and all of a sudden one of them is at 50% profit, close it and buy a put. Instead of selling one to buy two, sell one, take the profits from it, and use that to buy a put and close your naked put. So instead of when you do a one-two sweet body head, you're long net one put. Okay, well, just take the profits from one put where you got the profit and then put it on a, a long put. But uh, there's a happy medium, y'all. We I think we can have this and have this. We can have the hedge and we can have this. It's a great session. Though. Does the sweet Bobby Hedge throw the spreadsheet off? No, but if you've got too many of them, it's gonna throw your metrics off. And you're gonna have some issues. And the issues were, is that our Greeks were out of credit. This, you know, we were like, wow. And then we were like, we don't have any theta. Three theta? You kidding me? Three theta? Uh-uh. That's not acceptable. You've got to get it up there. 
So my goal now is to, and, and I can do a lot of things with selling futures. You know, it doesn't touch my theta and I sold something against it. Well, aren't those counteractive, counteracting each other? Yeah, but it gets my metrics. My metrics are meaningful again. It's like Ed said, I, he was, you know, riding around in the dark. The metrics meant nothing. Now the metrics mean something. All right, great session. We're going into Muscadine Mafia executive session now. I will see y'all later.